Hello, I'm uh, Mason. I go to MVS, and this is a video about one of the classes I have called TED. So in TED, um, we've been watching the most watched TED Talks, and I found it. I found a lot of common themes throughout them, and I think I have an idea of why they're the most viewed. So the first one is by Ken Robinson about um, schools and creativity and how schools might be actually killing creativity, not enforcing them, I mean, not enforcing, but encouraging it like they say that they are. So it was like a kind of controversial talk, like a lot of people were talking about it, a lot of people had different opinions about it. Um, he used humor throughout, he started with a joke, um, and then it's relative to now. It was made in 2006 and has like 52.6 million views. So this was 12 years ago. The topic that he picked and talked about is still talked about today. Just pretty impressive, and it's uh, pertinent to a lot of different people because a lot of people go to school, they have kids who go to school, they have friends who go to school, they have families who go to school. So it pertains to a lot of people. The next talk that we watched was by uh, Amy Cuddy, and it was about how your body language might shape who you are. It was from 2012, which isn't too long ago, but it had 48.6 million views. I think this one is one of the most viewed because a lot of people are curious about themselves. They want small changes leading to big outcomes. It, again, pertains to all people. And it's been up for a little while. She also used humor. She used examples like Ken Robinson did. And the next talk we watched was um, by Simon Sinek, I think. I never know how to pronounce his last name. So it's okay. um, it was about how great leaders inspire that has 40.3 million views and it's from 2009. The good thing about this one is that it's not like one of the big conference talks. It's like a smaller talk that's actually like the third most viewed TED talk. So this one is about leaders and a lot of people idealize leaders and being leaders and people want to be them. They want to get better, they want to inspire others. And he also, in this talk, had a gold circle. Where, you, where most people communicate from the outside in, um, which is what, how, and why. He actually said in his talk that the great leaders and the people that um, inspire others work from the inside in, I mean inside out, sorry. They work why, how, what. Um, and that inspires more people, they're more creative, they're more inspirational. And this pertains to a lot of people too, because a lot of people want to get better, they want to be able to communicate and inspire, they want to be a leader. So the next talk we, wa we watched was by Brene Brown from 2010. It had 35.8 million views. And it was about the power of vulnerability and how we're actually losing our tolerance for it. And this is making us less connected to each other. So she also used humor a lot. She used stories, she used her personal experience, like she used to be a researcher, and then she actually found out that she had to be vulnerable. So, um, all these TED Talks, I think, are connected. So, the people who are giving these talks and getting the most views are the leaders. From the Simons talk about how leaders inspire action. They work from the inside out. They have a reason why, they put together a how, and then they show people what they were doing. And that inspired people, and that's why they have so many TED, that's why they have so many views. They have many experiences, they have many stories, um, and they're like really driven. They also have something to say, which is the why part, which is like the most important part. You have to have something to say if people are going to listen. And the people follow, like they follow the people who are giving these talks. And like they're like, they watch them and they're like, oh, here, look, you should watch this. And they spread it. And these people who are giving the talks are able to be vulnerable from Brene Brown. And they're able to open up, share about their experiences, connect with people. And that's part of why they're the most viewed. Also, all of them use humor. Like, humor is a great way to, like, to lighten up a crowd, to, like, get into your talk, 
and to connect with more people, get everyone laughing. Because laughter is like a contagious thing. So like, basically if you get one person to laugh, the entire room is going to end up laughing. And then, um, also we watched a different TED Talk. This one wasn't one of the most viewed. But it had a differentiation between my world and the world. My world was more of a right brain thing, where it was about feelings and understanding and flexibility, or the world was like left brain, logical, set. And I think this relates to the golden circle, because it's working from my world out. Because my world is where the inspiration comes from, it's where I find my why, and then I find my how on the way to show the world what I'm doing. So more people want to be leaders, which is what I said earlier. So they somewhat idealize people who are giving these talks and they're idealizing people who get the most views because they have something to say, because they can connect with people, because they can be vulnerable. And because they work from the inside out uh, of the golden circle. So that's why I think those TED Talks that we've been watching are the most viewed, and I think that's why they're also, like, the most important ones. Like, they connect to everyone. They're about topics that are still alive and talked about today. And they have a lot of research and examples and thoughts behind it. So that's why I think those are the most viewed.